and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin Plays Blood on the Clock Tower. Today we're joined by Ian. And hello. Jesse. Hi. Grady. Hello, hello. Ariel. Hi. Eric. Hey, everyone. How's it going? And Malachi. Hello. Uh, it's good to see everybody. This is our, our second game of the day. It's, uh, we're separating it into videos, but I'm going to go through and choose our characters. We're doing Trouble Brewing Teensyville version. Uh, I'm going to let you all chat. I'm going to go talk to uh, the Twitch chat, and we're going to select characters. Uh, in this game, if you'll have over the center, there's six players. So there's three townsfolk, one outsider, one minion, and one demon. So it's going to be a little bit more interesting, I think. All right. Uh, I will let you all chat, and I'll be back in a second. Ooh. There we go. All right, so let's go to select characters. All right, so let's mix things up a little bit. And we're still going to have an imp, obviously. Um, I Let's give him a spy. Let's do a spy. Um, I've only done a spy once or twice uh, on this system. I think I can figure out how that works. We'll figure it out as we go. Uh, that'll be interesting. Our outsider. Uh, let's do a recluse this time, I think. And to keep the pressure low a little bit, right? This will be a little bit stressful being a saint. Uh, and it gives a demon a good bluff if they want to steal saint, if they feel like it. And then uh, let's give them a real virgin. Let's give them a... Ooh. Do I want to do a librarian or let's do a washerwoman? Oh, let's do a chef. I think it's a good number for that. And what else? Ooh, should we do a mayor? I think a mayor would be interesting. Uh, yeah, they got some opportunities to learn some things. Um, yeah, there's some opportunities there. It's a little tricky one. Um, the chef might want to die to the virgin. The mayor may want to stay alive. It's a little tricky. I think that'll work. Uh, we have three townsfolk, one outsider, one minion, and one demon. All right, let's do this. <laughs> all, right, all right, We all everybody. have it. <laughs> I am ready to pass out your tokens. So put on your poker faces. All right, and uh, if you're new, I'm gonna, you know, I'll come check in with you to make sure you're uh, comfortable with your role. And otherwise, I will wish everybody a good night. Uh, first night, let's our night order yeah i guess the spy should have been the spy okay so let's have anything we need to set up um there's really nothing to set up in this game yeah the chef is going to learn a zero but that's not put in our grimoire all right i'm going to wake grady and we're gonna show the grimoire i haven't done this in a while um oh show the grimoire there it is yeah i think that is everything that it was in the grimoire mm-hmm Send it to Grady, and then we'll check in with Grady in a second. And yeah, the chef is the only other one that wakes up. Let's go and wake up our chef. Yeah. I, I, my sister, like, did not like it. Oh, okay, I got the chat with it. It was a lot. <laughs> I would not recommend saying, oh, I got to go into a chat. <laughs> oh, sorry. That is all right. You can okay. claim for a reason. Um, but yeah, yeah, usually like kind of if you're a character that gets woken up in the night, it's usually maybe good to not get caught up in a conversation in the nighttime phase. Just a good thing. Yeah. To do, right? um, but, you know, you're on the good team, so you're fine. Um, but yes. So the chef <laughs> learns mm -hmm. you start knowing how many pairs of evil players there are, which means how many are sitting next to each other. Right. Oh, okay, okay. So in this game, there's two evil players. There's a demon and a minion. And so you basically learn, are they sitting together? In which case you get a one, or they're not sitting next to each other, in which case you get a zero. Uh, and okay. you learn a zero. So our zero, evil okay. team is not sitting next to each other. Does Got that it. make sense? Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, I you only learned this once, and now I don't talk to you anymore. You've got all the information you're going to get. So I'm going to let you run and do with it as you will, okay? Do with it as you will, okay. okay. All right. All right. Luck. Hey, just making sure you got all the information you need. I guess. How does it feel to know everything you need to know? Not helpful. Thanks for making my life difficult. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Love you. Have a good game. Bye. Bye.
Today's video is brought to you by Hitpoint Press. The deck of many animated 5e reference cards can bring even more magic to your games, and they make fantastic gifts. Get animated spell cards, condition cards, or townsfolk NPCs. You can even get in-game items like the deck of illusions and the deck of many things. Get your deck of many animated cards using the info icon in the corner or in the doohickey down below. Yeah. Oh, that's right. cute. Good morning <laughs> to everybody, including Butter. Um, switch up my music to <laughs> daytime music. All right, everyone. Again, there's a demon loose in our town. Go solve the mystery. Good luck. <laughs> mm. Okay, so. Anyone have first night info? Okay. I do. I'm the chef. Okay. And I learned Ooh. that you guys are uh, the the bad guys, whoever you are. Well, uh, I you're... um so I got all right, yeah. So uh, yeah, normally the, the the empath probably wouldn't announce so early, but it is a Teensy Bill game, and also <laughs> I got it too. Oh well, I learned they're not sitting next to each other, so that does line up. That, that would be yeah. Uh... Um, so wait, you're the, you said you're the empath and you got a two, which would mean yep. you're reading both me and Ariel as evil? Yes, demon. Okay. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I am the recluse, so that's why oh. you're reading me evil. Mm. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. like so if, <laughs> if what everyone else is saying is true, then it's Ariel and Malachi. But I'm the mayor. <laughs> Mm. So my thing's blue, not red, and <laughs> okay, so. I mean, I like I'm story. seeing the color blue. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm registering blue here, and it says um, says I'm a townsfolk. So, mayor's kind of mm. confusing. I don't have any other information other than the fact that I am. Oh, everybody's going off the, the mayor. <gasps> yep. Hi. Uh, Bye. Yeah. So, get your notes out. <laughs> yep. Um, Malachi is virgin. Ian is chef. Uh, Jesse is recluse, and Ariel is mayor. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me. Uh, okay, so Malachi's virgin. Mission goes uh, debunk. Yeah, because then either if that Grady's works, then either Ian, Ian or Grady are lying or drunk or, or poisoned. They're both lie or they're both lying and they're both evil. Maybe. To you, does that make does that sound like a good plan? No, but go for it. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, it's fine. Okay, so, well, I need to figure out what I'm going to claim then. Uh, no, no, no. That, actually, that's fine. Yeah, go for it. Oh, okay. I just don't uh, trust okay. myself not to die, but it's fine. What's that? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I, yeah. I it's, think okay, yeah. Well, I mean, I can't. I, but the problem is, if I don't kill myself and I'm an outed fortune teller. Okay, well, hang on. No, I think. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that's fine. And then one of us can nominate Malachi and throw um, suspicion on. Yeah. If you get, we'll see how this works. If I, oh, we'll see. I'm not, yeah, I'm not committed to the plan yet, but it's a, it's something I'm thinking about. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Ooh. Mm. And Malachi, what are yeah, you that it would be easy to lie as the spy because you know everything. Oh, it's just the imp, so. You think Grady's the imp? Yes, I think that he talked up the empath. He was like, you know, normally an empath wouldn't wouldn't reveal this so early and then said f false things because I'm good and I don't know what Jesse is, doesn't matter. Grady though. <laughs> so I think Grady's evil because I, I yeah. Chirp, Slayer. I'm probably going to shoot maybe jesse today to see if i mean either jesse lives and they're not the demon or jesse dies and it proves uh that i uh i'm real well and, and ends the game but yeah, uh, yeah. But it might not well it might not end the game because if jesse's just a recluse the slayer oh. can still kill the recluse wait huh doesn't the slayer only kill the demon 
Yes, but the recluse says that they could register as the demon. I have never seen that happen. <laughs> but okay, it's yeah, yeah, usually yeah, happens right. in bigger right. games of Trouble Brew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Well, or difficult, but yeah, okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, um, I mean, it's all just in Theo's whim if they want to do that or not. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just I wasn't aware of that interaction. But, I leave all um, those yeah. decisions to Rory. So your fate is in Rory's hands. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Yeah, no. uh, was there anything else? Because yeah, I've... he knows everything. Yeah. Eric, what are you claiming? All right. So I'm the fortune teller. The first fortune night I teller. checked uh, Jesse and Malachi, and I got a yes. Uh, what does fortune teller do again? You learn if either is a demon. So me but... and Malachi, you got a yes. Yes. But you're Would on... the recluse register as a yes as well? The yeah, recluse can. can okay. Register. So that might be what's happening there. Yeah. It also says that a good person can register as. A... Yeah, you have you have one red herring. Right. Hmm. Nominations are open. Malachi, what are you claiming to be? Yeah. Uh, one person <laughs> knows. Two people know. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh well, as long as they know, then I guess that's. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just chef. What do I need to know? Mm. How do you if how do you take? Anyone has any allergies? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Malachi nominates Ariel. <laughs> Malachi okay. nominates Ariel. Malachi states your case. Information we have. Uh, Mayor, such a such an easy bluff for the imp. Yeah. I don't believe we do have a mayor. Okay. Ariel, what's your defense? Um, I've been running this town for years now as mayor. <laughs> I've been elected by the public and I'm offended. <laughs> Secondly, the mayor is very confusing to me and I'm glad that like I would not have picked that because it's there's so much jargon in there. So <laughs> no, I would not have picked that and again, feel free to reelect me next year. <laughs> all right. All that being said, the election's happening right now. This is on Ariel, starting with Eric. Three votes to be put on the block. Uh, mm. <laughs> it's too bad. It's too early. No, two is not enough. <laughs> I understand the argument of like, there's too many words. I wouldn't have chose this as a block. <laughs> <laughs> Second I call. I think it's Grady. I want to nominate somebody. Do it. Do it. I nominate Do Grady. Ariel nominates Grady. Ariel, state your case. Um, I, I, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. He said <laughs> that I was one of the evil people, and I'm not, so I know he's lying. So that's, I mean, mm. Andy talked about being the empath. He had to discuss the case of the character prior to being the character. I don't know, it stressed me out. I know you have to, I guess, because <laughs> you have to, he couldn't just do something without saying what he is, but I don't know. He was like talking down the empathy. He was like, oh, they would never do that beforehand. They wouldn't do that this early. So, yeah. Grady seems like an ironclad case. Do you have any defense? Uh, I mean, so the talking the empath thing was just that the empath is usually a high priority target against the by the demon so by coming out you're you're asking to get killed um but again sure. that's why i was i was clarifying for for newer players that that because this is a a short game that that <laughs> um and, just doing but, it for your benefit <laughs> um but yeah um so right now yeah the um i mean I got what I got, so. <laughs> um, uh, like, I guess at the same time, yeah, I, you can kill me because it's. Um, I'm probably not. If we don't kill one of my neighbors anyway, I'm not going to get new information, and we don't really have that many rounds, so it's like almost as good as a first night roll at this point. So, that's fine. Um, but yeah. <laughs> All right. This is on Grady, starting with Ariel. Three votes to be put on the block. There's already enough votes. <laughs> okay. 
four is enough. Grady is on the block. Grady, put your eyes through the skull, if you would. Ooh. And <laughs> final call for nominations. I'm good with Grady dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's my partner there, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I'm side-eyeing I'm, I'm side Jesse here, but... No, I'm... Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'll nominate Jesse. Okay. Grady no. nominates Jesse. Grady, state your case. I that. Oh, no. I mean, you're my other read. Uh, Recluse makes sense as a demon claim. So if anyone kind of pings on you, then it's an e easy way to get it dismissed. Um, and uh, yeah, you're you're actually a veteran player, so you would know that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good way to claim that. Um, so yeah, I don't figure I might as well. Okay, Jesse. I'm on the good team. <laughs> well, well, that settles that. I might as well cancel the vote, but <laughs> no, it is four votes to tie, five votes to execute. This is on Jesse, starting with Grady. My ice Everyone else delicious. believes me. Ooh, Jesse, uh, digging in. All right, it doesn't <laughs> seem like you're going to beat this, so I'm going to call it in five seconds. Five, three, two, one, and Grady is executed and dies. And congratulations go to everybody for going to sleep early tonight. All Good night. right. <laughs> Right, so we are back. We are muted from the town. Uh, all right, our spy went under early, but the demon is still alive, so we still continue. Um, yeah, and the, uh, Eric will get a chance to kill somebody, but I'm going to check in with Ariel to make sure Ariel understands their role real fast. So let's do that. Hello. Hello. I don't normally wake you up in the night uh, as a mayor. The mayor needs their sleep, but I do want yes. to uh, check in and make sure you understood the mayor role. I realize I should have done this in the first night, um, but okay. uh, I didn't think about it. Um, but yeah, uh, very quickly, the mayor, if only three players live and no execution occurs, your team wins. If you die at night, another player might die instead. So... Um, yeah, there's a couple things in there. Yeah, if you get down to the final three and you can convince everybody, like, we just don't need to execute anybody tonight, then if you can convince them to do that, nobody gets executed, then your team wins. Good team in this case. The okay. reason, e even if even if there's bad people in the group. Yeah, even if there's okay. bad people in the group. If you can keep, if, if you get to three and you say, let's just, I'm the mayor, nobody, nobody gets executed, then you win automatically. The reason it says your team instead of, the good team is that there are things in this game that can switch people's alignments not on okay. this particular script so you don't have to worry about it but there could be evil mayors out there i know who could think of an evil mayor um yeah. but yeah the only the other part of your ability if you die at night which in this game would be like the demon targeting you it might mm -hmm. ping off on another player to keep you alive a little bit longer so, okay uh do you have any questions about it so when it's saying and no execution occurs, it doesn't mean in the entire game. It means at the last round when there's three alive. Right, exactly. And there could be okay. nominations, right? And somebody could get put on the okay. block. But like if, you know, as long as nobody gets executed in the end, then your ability works. Okay. Okay, okay. cool. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey. What's going on? How's it going so far? Uh, terrible. I'm pretty <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I wish I had heard your, your plan. I was bouncing around between chats, but... um, Sure, so my plan was to claim Fortune Teller, throw sus on somebody who's not Grady, kill myself at the night, and then have the input pass to Grady, right? And then that would get us, like, maybe some credibility, but that plan just got kiboshed because Grady's dead. Somehow so. nobody believed his empath read. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I know. But I know. Uh, who would you like to target tonight? I think it's got to be Malachi the Virgin, so we have to go that way. All right. Yep. Um, yeah, Virgin, I was a little surprised. Lived through the first day, but uh, they did. Yep, yep right. I can't have that running around confirming people, so let's do that. All right, sounds good. I'll wish yep. you a good night, then. Thanks. Bye. 
All right, I'll mute myself to them. Normally we would go, you know, we've done everything we need to do with the nighttime phase, but it's often a good idea to let it go just a little bit longer because that way, Eric, if he's paying attention to the night order, you know, there might be other townsfolk or somebody that would go after the imp. And if we wake the town up the moment that the imp goes, then Eric would know that there's none of those townsfolk in play. So we kind of bluff a little bit by letting the night go on a little bit, but I think we've let it go on enough. So let's go ahead and head into day number two. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I had the wrong screen open on my thing. Welcome to day number two. You wake this morning to unfortunately find that Malachi has died in the night. <gasps> no! No, it's sad. Serves him right. Went against the mayor. <laughs> oh. You couldn't use your ability. I was going to make you breakfast, but now I'm not. So <laughs> <laughs> How could this happen to me? <laughs> Malachi, what were you? Uh, now that you're dead. The funny thing is, I did tell two people, but I lied to one of them. <laughs> Who did you? So did now you we can't to? confirm. Oh, I, uh, I'm the virgin. Well, what did you? Okay, hang on, let me write that you down. Told the truth to me. If you're not yep. lying now. Oh, he, yeah, he told me he, uh, he was Slayer. Yeah, Obviously, because I I heard of a great great idea of a uh, <laughs> a bluffing virgin as a slayer, so I did the opposite. <laughs> uh, Malachi, um, let me put you on the spot for a second. Uh, would you help for new players explain what uh, often happens when we have four players alive in a game of Blood on the Clock Tower? Uh, so in a game of Blood on the Clock Tower, especially with uh, in Trouble Brewing and four players alive, uh, most towns villagers village uh decides to uh sleep on this night because if we execute here at four players and we are wrong more than likely we go down to three players during the night the demon kills another player and the game is already over uh usually that always happens there's like maybe some edge cases where like if there's a monk and soldier still alive then the demon might not be able to kill during that night uh but more than often than not it, it is better for town to go to sleep so that instead of a 25 percent chance it's a 33 percent chance um and it's not an instant loss right Fair. does that make sense so yeah mm -hmm. We could so but now we could have any it. information to sh yeah because they don't have any information to share though before yeah we so i don't know why them. i'm alive as an outed fortune yeah. teller but i am i checked myself in ariel and i got neither of us are the demon which obviously i'm not the demon but like ariel is also not the demon so i don't know what's up with grady's the empaths to read it's possible grady was really like a minion uh hmm could have been probably just and just lying to us. Uh, okay, so what I'm thinking mm -hmm. is Eric claimed fortune teller, and he's the minion because he knows that it'll be sus if he doesn't die, and so he's trying to get attention on him instead of the actual demon who is Ariel. But then that, that that conflicts with Ian's chef information, which says the the evil people are not sitting next to each other. Is that correct? Yeah. Then Ian's lying, and he's the demon. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm so <laughs> I think Recluse is such a really good defense of every time someone pings you as evil. So everyone, everyone, you could just go, oh no, it's because I'm the Recluse. But you've been <laughs> pinged evil, and no one else has. Ariel got pinged evil. That's true. By by Grady, who do we trust? Yeah. That's no, <clears throat> so I would have. You're saying I sold him out, or well, I guess it, I wouldn't have known, right? In the tiny games, I, I'm not privy to that information yeah. prior. The, oh. the the evil team doesn't know each other, and the demon doesn't get bluffs. There were. A I lot mean, of, yeah. Malachi already 
<clears throat> made a great case for not doing any executions. So yeah, that's true. I'm just I'm just voicing my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I was just <laughs> as the mayor. <laughs> just wanted to reiterate the Malachi, uh, yeah, you know, lost too soon, but a good citizen now hearing his his last words. I will let y'all know that, that um sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> One of the most infamous uh Blood on the Clock Tower players uh, is in our chat and I'm uh, watching right now. Uh, Malachi, you want to take a guess who that might be? Who's the most infamous player out there? Infamous? Infamous, I would say. I mean, famous would be Ben Burns. Infamous? Infamous. I can't... <laughs> I'm gonna... Maybe because I was talking to them just like a few minutes ago. Is it Atreides? No. Um, this is... Oh, shit, I don't know. This is Patters. <laughs> Oh my god, that's not infinite. <laughs> Why is Patterns infinite? Patterns is so. <laughs> Patterns is the embodiment of pure chaos in this game. Uh, wow. I, I take offense to that because I should be the embodiment of chaos. <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're a good I'm second coming, place, I think, to Patterns. But don't I'm let me just. for that title, Patterns. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me disrupt. I'll let y'all continue, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Hey, Patterns. Hey, hey, how's it going? I'm back for the discussion. <laughs> okay. I mean, if we don't have any other information, we could just go to sleep and see what happens. I say, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll say uh, nominations are open, and I'll close them shortly if there's nobody wants to nominate. The only thing that worries me is that there were a lot of votes against Grady the day before, and almost like nothing against Jesse. Which yeah. already kind of makes me wonder if we're yeah. on the wrong the theme of that vote was wrong. That's really I'm tragic. Dead. Second call. But uh, all right, make your case tomorrow morning then. Yeah. <laughs> no, I nominate Jesse. Oh. No, don't nominate. <laughs> Ian nominates Jesse. Ian, state your case. Uh, just every single time. You just have pinged every single time. It's always the same. I'm the recluse. I'm gonna ping as that. So it's, I mean, that's so easy to claim, sure. <laughs> because it's the truth. It's super easy because I can look at myself and see the words recluse next to my name. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm never gonna forget because it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's super easy. All right. Jesse, anything else you want to add to that? Um, if you kill me, the demon wins. Fair argument. I'll run this vote. Two to be put on the block. Here we go. If you're dead, you have one vote remaining in the game. And just a reminder, this is a, we're doing a new game for our new players, Ian and Ariel. Welcome to the game. All right, one is not enough. Oh. Final call. Right. Thank God. I'm calling it in I'm five, four, Three, Debating nominating two, you back, but I'm not going to. One, and oh, the no, day no. ends with no executions. I'll wish everybody a good night. There we go. Hey, welcome back. All right. Yeah, the, we're closing in on the end of this game. And uh, yeah, welcome, Patters. It's lovely to see you. Uh, I do love watching you play. Uh, we are doing a special weekend game. We usually play on Wednesdays. But today we are introducing some new players to the game in Ian and Ariel. And I thought I would go uh, through for everybody who is new to the game, new maybe to storytelling, and wants to see how you introduce this game to new players. And so that's what we're doing today in a little Teensyville game. Let's go talk to our demon, shall we? Hello. All right. What's up, be? I don't know. I'm still pretty fucked. <laughs> uh, this is a tough one, I think. Yeah. Uh, I kind of inclined to see a mayor win, even if I don't win. So I might inclined to let the mayor win because it's a shady role already. I, uh, I think I got to kill Ian tonight. Let's go kill Ian the chef. All right. We'll make it happen. I wish you good yep. luck. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I forget who it was, but like every single round, they were like, oh, I've just... All right, good morning, Goblin Shire. Unfortunately, you wake up this morning to find that Ian has died in the night. <sighs> 
Okay. There are three players remaining. This will very likely be your final day. Good luck. You all have to believe me. I'm the recluse. <laughs> Please don't kill me. You'll lose. We have to figure out who it is. It's like a stare right, down at it. noon. <laughs> yeah, I checked myself and Ian last night. Obviously, I got a no, and obviously, Ian's not the demon. Yeah. All right, it's Eric. <sighs> but I, I, I think that Grady may actually be sitting next to two of the evil people. I don't. <laughs> I mean, we're all sitting relatively close to each other. Yeah. So. <laughs> <sighs> I think it's you now. I don't know. I want I want Jesse to if win. You're the mayor, I if want you're, her to be if you're on actually the, good the mayor. Team this we time. win though. If, if you're actually the mayor, I thought we, win. we won. I thought we won if we just went to bed and woke up and there were three alive and no, 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 no execution. Okay, so the way the mayor the way the mayor ability works is if this night ends in no execution, we the townsfolk win. If you're actually the mayor. Yeah, it's and just three, three players left alive. You have, to be, yeah. you have to go to bed with three alive. Right, not... that's what I'm saying. There has to be no execution yeah. tonight. But, so the last day, we had four of us alive, and we went to bed. Mm-hmm. That right. didn't count as... Right. Okay. This is the first night. This is the first day that Mayor Bill is active. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the idea is that when you're down to three, right, like whatever okay. happened is the last vote. If you vote to kill, you're down to two. If you get the wrong person, you lose. The, um, but like if the mayor tells not to vote and that the mayor is not the real mayor and everyone goes to sleep, the demon kills and then. Yeah, okay, you, okay, you, okay. Yeah, like, get your bluffs right. Get your bluffs right. Didn't Theo <laughs> explain all this to you? Like, <laughs> And when there's two players right. alive, the game is over. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So nominations are open. I know. Oh wait. <laughs> I, well, who was that? Oh, go ahead. Who, whoever else was talking. No, I, I, I was gonna say I kind of want a mayor win, but not. I, I retract that now. <laughs> I didn't hear yeah, who nominated you're Ariel. You're very quick. Ariel did. Ariel did. Okay. Ooh. Mm-hmm. She nominated me. She's Ariel. Very, I mean, if you want a mayor win, I'm scared mayor. now. I'm scared that I'm not marrying right. I thought I was marrying right, and now I don't know. <laughs> so now I'm nominating Eric because um. He's, I feel like he understands the fortune teller very well and is knowing the things to say based on who is dying and who's alive. Like, well, I checked Ian and Ian obviously pinged as no. I just, I, the way he, I don't, yeah, I don't like it. And he made fun of me, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair claim. Eric, how do you defend yourself? Uh, I don't know. I think this is a little bit of nepotism, reverse nepotism, since, hi, honey, <laughs> thank you for nominating me. Uh, but I I think this is a really shady mayor play. If I was actually the mayor, I wouldn't be trying to nominate me. I think that Grady's evil may actually, the Grady's initial read of two may have actually been correct, that Ariel may actually be evil. But I don't think Ariel's the demon, unless I'm also drunk. But I'm not really sure how that works, because my fortune teller claim didn't work against Ariel. So I'm not really sure how to resolve that. But if then if I'm drunk, then Jesse could also be not the recluse. It's because I would be the one outsider. I just wouldn't know that. Uh, so I don't know. I don't really there have. Could be a, there could be a poisoner. All right. I, maybe well. you're the poisoner. I don't know. But go ahead and run it. I don't I really have a better defense than that. All right. There's two votes to be put on the block here. It'll start with Malachi. <clears throat> Do remember, if you are dead, you get one vote for the rest of the game. But this is the last day. So just keep that in mind. Here we go. Two votes to be put on the block. And this is the only time Eric can be nominated today. You're not even going to vote. Zero's not enough. (laughs) Eric, before you nominate. (laughs) Uh... I don't think you supplied us with today's information or last night's information. I, yeah. I, Ian, you was the last one. So the first night I checked Malachi and Jesse. I get a yes, but Jesse's claiming Rick Lewis, so obviously that would ping off that. I then checked myself against Ariel because Grady was dead, and I got a no. And then I checked myself against Ian, who's obviously dead, and I also got a no. Uh, okay. So we're cool not voting I'm, then? I'm nominating... <sighs> Oh, hold on. I'm not nominating. Hold on. I might. I don't know yet. <laughs> nah. We got this. But I don't I don't think you're the mayor. So you're saying if we go to bed right now 
and I'm the mayor, which I am, we win. Correct? It's just yeah. execution. Great. But if, Before, you're not, if you're not the mayor, the demon will just kill someone in the But that's the only right. way we would lose is if I'm not the mayor. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay, then that doesn't matter. <laughs> I nominate Ariel. Eric nominates Ariel. Eric nominates Ariel. All right, Eric, state your case. I don't think Ariel's the mayor. <laughs> That's really it. I, this is good. And it's something personal reasons. Ah, ah, I kind of hurt. I kind of feel betrayed a little bit. <laughs> okay, Ariel, okay. what's your defense? So you're saying your fortune teller abilities are not accurate? I don't know what to believe. I think this is the right vote, though. I just don't trust What do you mean you don't know what to believe? So you're, you're claiming things with your power and then taking it back and saying, well, I guess it's I wrong. I could be lied to. I could be So lied you're, to. you're giving us false information. I can't believe you guys are... We will win. This is so frustrating. This game is infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> I've been nothing but honest. I've been nothing but honest. And you're all going to feel like fools when this is over. <laughs> Love I you. I can't tell if this is demon rage or uh, innocent player rage. <laughs> oh, this is the mayor. Either way, you need, to win. Rage. I need to win. Either way, Ariel is amazing, and I hope you play with us every single time. Is um, don't give her big head. Big head. <laughs> don't give her big head. I'm already the mayor. <laughs> we are gonna start this with Eric, and there's two votes to be put on the block. Here we go. Just the information. Wow, two, it's all the dead votes. <laughs> all right, I don't think that can be we beat. We can't beat that. So I will then, yeah, that's that's all the votes there and there. So Ariel is on the block. There can be, nobody can beat that or tie that. So Ariel is executed and dies. And congratulations go to the evil team. Oh. <laughs> Let's go through. Oh. That's so Why don't we weird. start with Ariel, our mayor. Damn it. <laughs> See, I was trying to leave you on the winning team, Jesse. Why did you nominate? <laughs> Why did I nominate Ariel? Yeah. Oh, because I, I was scared you guys weren't going to go to sleep. So, and I think Eric's still evil. So I thought I'd nominate him anyways. If you hadn't anyways. nominated, then we would have gotten to sleep. That's not true. <laughs> I mean, I still yeah, actually it. pretty true. <laughs> well, let's see. We also had Ian, our chef, who learned that our uh, evil team was not sitting next to each other. Um, we'll talk about that in oh a second. Oh my god. Malachi was our virgin who was not activated in this game. Jesse was our recluse indeed ah. and the evil team knew all this because grady was our spy I, that's what, yeah, that's what I I so and, that too. and then eric of course was our demon who thought that they were in big trouble for the entire game especially when they lost our spy on day one but eric pulled it out in the end congratulations on murdering your mayor girlfriend <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. It was my pleasure. So stupid. My pleasure. <laughs> you were going to pay for that victory later, I think. <laughs> Probably. Probably. <laughs> I know her. Yes. Yes, I will. Ooh. <laughs>